Tonight, the CDC has six new symptoms to be on the lookout for if you suspect you have the coronavirus. Ashley Lincoln spoke to a local doctor about how these signs could help in the fight against COVID-19. She's live for us tonight at Mercy Hospital South. That's right, Samantha. This doctor tells us that these new symptoms simply mean that we know more about this virus. Now, right now, if someone shows up to the hospital and if they have the symptoms, they will more than likely be tested for the virus. Now, with more detailed symptoms, doctors say this will help them determine the severe cases from the mild ones. Here are the new six symptoms the CDC is adding. Muscle pain, chills, headache, repeated shaking with chills, sore throat, and new loss of taste or smell. Before, doctors were looking for fever, cough, and shortness of breath. I think many of these symptoms we've been aware of since even February or March, but as we record more information here within the United States and share information across all the different states and facilities. Mercy Hospital's Director of Critical Care, Dr. Laura Adam, says the new symptoms could make it easier to pinpoint coronavirus in some cases. The loss of the sense of taste or smell, we really haven't had people come in and tell us about that before. Before. So when we have something like that, that kind of narrows in the focus that way. The expanded symptoms could prove important because with the limited number of test kits available, typically those seeking a test must first show symptoms. Doctors say the new list brings more certainty in diagnosis. But a lot of the other things like shortness of breath or sore throat, scratchy eyes, runny nose, they're just what we would see with any virus and so they don't necessarily pinpoint us towards coronavirus. And doctors say these new symptoms could appear within 2 to 14 days. Reporting live in South County, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.